Our next two principles starts with number five, management by exception. The management by exception principle supports efficient use of management time and places decision making at the correct level. Management by exception. One, define six axes of variation in project performance, being time, cost, scope, risk, quality and benefits. Second, sets limits on the authority delegated between each management level over the allowable variation from baseline plan within each of the six axes. Variation includes actual or even suspected or outlooked status. Third, management by exception requires that we establish an assurance regime to give each management level confidence that results and reports from below are an accurate match to reality. Fourth, management by exception imposes an escalation process when an actual or possible variation is beyond the tolerance limit and so triggers the escalation of an exception to the next higher level of management for a decision on how to respond to the tolerance threat. Prince divides management control into four or five levels of authority. At the top is corporate or program management who delegate project tolerances to the project board. Next, the project board directs the project and delegates stage tolerances to the project manager. Third, the project manager managing a stage delegates work package tolerance to four or five the team members or team managers delivering a work packages product-based results. Delegation of authority from one management level to the next must set limits both plus and minus on the allowable variation in completion date, resource usage, conformance to specification, inclusion of required elements, degree of risk and ability to deliver benefits. Of the six tolerances, four of them, time, cost, scope, risk, are managed at project stage and work package level. Quality is applied at the level of the project's overall result and each work packages included an individual product descriptions. While benefits tolerance is managed at project level through updating of the business case and the project board's reassessment of the benefits to be received. Principle number six is a focus on products. Projects only exist to deliver products that fulfil stakeholder expectations in accordance with the business justification. Projects are output, not activity oriented, which means that a common understanding of the products required is defined in terms of the quality criteria against which they will be individually approved. An approach based on defined products with agreed quality criteria avoids acceptance disputes, avoids rework, avoids uncontrolled change, known as scope creep, and avoids user dissatisfaction and aids correct estimation of the effort required from all parties for the acceptance activities. A set of products to be produced is agreed before activity to create them starts. The project's products define the project's scope and dictate the activities to be scheduled and budgeted, tracked and reported. Each product is defined in a product description that describes the product's purpose, composition, derivation, format, quality criteria and quality testing methods. The product description's content is therefore a sound basis for estimating effort and resource requirements. It's a sound basis for determining the dependencies and scheduling the activities that create or acquire the products that are in the project's scope.